sakia do kalo do si malaka lo do si lama do si kete manu parado ski do barakaya in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. My dear friends, I bring you greetings once again in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus is risen and the tomb is empty. Now, this is what Christ has accomplished for every one of us. Child of God, in Colossians chapter 3, verse 1, the Bible says, We are risen with him. And this is the message I'm bringing to you. It's very important. Many of us, you know, we have lost the meaning of being risen with Christ. Yes, we believe as Christians that Christ was risen. But many of us, the true meaning and the implication of the risen Lord is lost on us. I encourage you to like the video and subscribe to the channel and share the video. Child of God, what does it mean to rise with Christ? Your old life died with him. The day Jesus died, you died with him. The day Christ was buried, you were buried with him. The day they crucified him, you were crucified with him. And that was the last time, you know, I mean, it, it was the last blow and the last time you know, you will ever see death. There is a very powerful meaning in this. What does it mean? When the Bible says, we died with him, your old life, the life of sin, the life of death, the life of sicknesses and diseases, that life, that life of incapacity, that life of fear, that life is gone forever with Christ. And so, if we are risen, the Bible says, we should seek the things which are above, not on the earth. What it means is that your mind must be fixed on your current realities in Christ Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Colossians, you can read, you know, chapter 2, 9 and 10, that we are complete in him, the head of all principalities and power. That means that we are complete in holiness. We are complete in righteousness. We are complete in glory. We are complete in honor. We are complete in him. Why? Because we are resurrected. The old life of sickness, disease is over. I refuse to be sick. I refuse to be poor. You see, that is the reality in Christ Jesus. And the manifestation of your new glory in Christ will begin when you first of all accept that message and you make it your mindset. As a man thinketh, so you see, your mind and you, your personality are the same. Your mind and your person are not, you know, different. Your mind is you. You are your mind. Therefore, when you understand the fact that I am risen with him and I am seated in heavenly places above all wickedness, you refuse to be afraid. Refuse to fear. Refuse to fear. Child of God, you are not ordinary. You are not ordinary. You have to know that you are now seated with Christ. Whatever Christ is, you are. You are risen. Jesus did not rise alone. Go into the Bible, you realize that he rose with the dead saints in the Old Testament and also changed their place and then took them to paradise. Child of God, we also, spiritually, we also, you know, we were raised from death. That is from the death of you know, we were dead in Adam. The Adamic nature was dead. The Bible says we, we died. You know, that old nature died and it is now hid in Christ. You have a new nature. It is called Christ. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 3 and 4, the Bible says Christ is now our life. Christ is my life. Christ is my life. In the name of Jesus, Christ is my life. You must confess this, you must believe it, and you begin to see the manifestation of power and glory in your life. Don't allow Satan to really cheat you on that. I am the life of God because Christ is my life. That is my reality. I fear no devil. I fear no evil. Whether it is coming from the tree, whether it is coming from the sea, whether it is coming from anywhere, I fear none of this. Anything I see spiritually which I don't like, I'll command it 
to catch fire. I'll command it to disappear. Why? My confidence is Jesus Christ. Christ is my life. I have met all the requirements to be holy. I have met all the requirements to be righteous. I have met all the requirements, you know, to be powerful. I have met all the requirements to be rich. I have met all the requirements to walk, to please the Lord. Christ is my life. Christ is unlimited. In the name of Jesus, therefore, I am unlimited. I have become one with him, bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh. This is the gospel. Don't allow any uh, minuses in your physical life. Don't see your life from the physical. See yourself from Christ. Christ is your life. Child of God, be strong in the power of his might. You are a child of God. Don't fear anyone. God has plans, beautiful plans for us. I thank you once again for your time. Get interactive. Let's talk and let's push the gospel forward. May God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory. Shana Bolo do Celebrate.